here we have a MacBook board. This is an 820-3115 to an A1278-2012 through 2016 MacBook Pro. We're going to take our charger over here and plug it in to a little MacBook and see if we get a green light on the charger. And as you can see, there is no green light in the charger. The first rail that we need in order to have a charger green light is PP3V42. And if any of you know that type of thing, by the way, we are actually hiring. We are looking for new board repair technicians. If you're interested in applying for a job as a board repair technician, send an email to don't delay work here today at rossmangroup.com. That's don't delay work here today at rossmangroup.com. So as can be seen, there is no green light in the charger. And to get a green light in the charger, the one wire circuit needs to be working. The one-wire circuit is the circuit that is going to allow the charger to talk to the system management controller. So this is the charger and where the green light is located. This is the system management controller. They need to talk to each other in order for this green light to turn on and for this charger to start working properly. This is the MagSafe power jack, and it's got three primary lines. The first line is 18 volts. The second line is ground. The third line is adapter sense. Adapter sense is going to be responsible for allowing the charger to s and the, or the computer to sense that there's an adapter there. This one wire circuit. So adapter sense. Adapter sense is going to talk to U6900. U6900 is what's going to allow the charger external on pin 5. See pin 5 says X to communicate with the SMC which is inside the computer. See how it says int, hint, hint. This is what all this means. Going to the SMC. This chip is powered by PP3V42 because it comes from this chip. So this chip's powered by PP3V42, which then delivers the PP3V42 to this chip to power it on if SMC VCACOK is present. But first we need PP3V42, so let's see if PP3V42 is present on my board. It seems like you can find PP3V42 present on this inductor over here, so we're going to check on that inductor. We're going to check our PP3V42, and it looks like we have zero volts at PP3V42. Now we're going to unplug the charger so that we can check the resistance to ground on that rail because that rail is missing. And it appears, appears that we have a 2.2 ohm short to ground on PP3V42. If that line is short to ground, it's not going to work. So we're going to take a look around this board and see if we can find out why that's short to ground. Uh huh. Check that out. Look at that. Wonder if that has anything to do with it. Now this here is a little sponge. You may wonder if MacBooks are not liquid resistant, if MacBooks don't like water, then why would you find a sponge inside of a MacBook? Well, I'm not quite sure. Let's see what happens if we just knock off that thing right by the sponge. As you can see, we get a green light in the charger and the fan is spinning. Now, why is it that Apple chooses to put a sponge inside of a machine that ha is really bad at resisting liquid damage? I'm not sure. But one thing I am sure of is that I would never own one of these piles of crap. This is actually a ridiculously common problem on the A20-3115 and A20-2936 boards that have a little piece of foamy sponge crap right by the place where water gets in around PP3V42 that will cause it to stop working. And if you're not good with soldering, you could just take your little X-Acto knife, you can take your tweezers, you can take probably your keys, just knock that little thing off, and it'll likely work well again. We've got hundreds of these with this very specific problem on this very specific machine that was not updated for four years that it was being sold once. Not kidding, 2016, 500 gigabytes spinning hard drive, 5400 RPM, dual core Ivy Bridge processor, 1280 by 800, $1,049. People still bought it. Anyway, that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll be coming back with some more videos soon. I just got a, I am ridiculously behind with work recently. So again, my apologies that I haven't been producing content on the schedule that I usually do. I got to deal with 
concussion. I got to deal with the legal case with the, with the batteries. I got to deal with the uh, quadrupling in business since the CBC news piece. And uh, it there's just been a lot of work. But I really did used to enjoy responding to all your comments. I used to enjoy making videos regularly. I used to enjoy engaging with the audience. So I really hope I have time to do that again uh, starting soon. And my apologies that I haven't been keeping up and on top of it. And uh, as always, I hope you learned something.